Please pray for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of the Angels, Saint Joseph, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To begin this memorial of St. Thomas of Aquinas, one of the things that he had said, having a great devotion to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, a spiritual communion consists in an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and loving embracing him as though you had actually received him. All those who desire ad to advance in the love of Jesus Christ are exhorted to make a spiritual communion. At least once every visit they pay to the most holy sacrament. This practice is far more profitable than some suppose and yet nothing can be easier to practice. Now Our Lady has always urged us to fight sin, to pray, to suffer, to love and to make reparation. The greatest love anyone can do is to expose the love of Jesus. Is this not what the Gospel says today? If any man has ears to hear, let him hear. Be careful what you hear, in what measure you hear, it shall be measured to you again. Is a lamp brought to be placed under a bushel basket or under the bed? So we're to place the Blessed Sacrament on the altar, the light of light. We are to be with the light so that we can carry the light. So we are the candle, but it is in front of light itself, Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. Even if we were, even if he was rather in the tabernacle, we also can be that sanctuary light by presenting ourselves continually hour after hour, 24 hours a day, in front of the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus, who is love, is unloved. The candle ourselves are keeping him company. Is he not waiting for us in every tabernacle, in every sanctuary where there is a light? Are we not to convey to others the duty of adoration? of reparation and of love. Is this not the way, the truth and the life? Each and every one of us is a light to the world when we spend time with the light of the world. Is not the best way to adore our Lord, to expose him, to liberate him from the prison of the tabernacle, to place him where he is seen, to be placed in a monstrance and adored? Can he not give us all he has when we come into his presence. One of the statements by Pope Leo XIII, and I say this in answer to many people who have been disappointed in not being able to go to the pro-life march. I don't know if it has been cancelled. I was told it was, but still I know of some people who are going. Pope Leo XIII said, Our own belief is that the renovation of the world will be brought about only by the Holy Eucharist. The same energy for pro-lifers to go on these marches, if that was conveyed in front of the Blessed Sacrament, tremendous changes would come more changes would come this way. A piety of Christian people has always been rightly sensed a profound link between devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and worship of the Eucharist. This is a fact that can be seen in the liturgy both 
in the West and in the East in the traditions of religious families, in modern movements of spirituality, including those of youth, in the pastoral practice of Marian shrines. Mary guides the faithful to the Eucharist. Many youth go on these walks for life. Have opportunities been made for them to be presenting themselves before Jesus exposed in the Blessed Sacrament? Mother Teresa, the time you spend with Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament is the best time you will spend on earth. Each moment that you spend with Jesus will deepen your union with him and make your soul everlasting, more glorious and beautiful in heaven and will help bring about everlasting peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.